What's up guys, we have a special video today because we are going camper hunting once again at the Airstream in Austin. There's a video that we watch, not a video, but there's a show that we watch called Grimm. And in this show, they have an Airstream that they use. And it looks like it has a whole bunch of space in them. So I kind of wanted to check them out, see what they're about. Uh, there's other places that we want to go to. So we're gonna go to Airstream and then we're gonna go to other ones. I think there's two other ones I want to hit up. But let's check it out. So, as you can see, this is the first Airstream we're gonna go in, y'all. I like this cool little um, windshield in the, the front with the panels so that when rocks come and smack your, your trailer, it doesn't get smacked and cause a bunch of dent. I think these are all aluminum, if I had, to, or stainless steel. But, oh, I've never been in one of these, so let's check it out. Oh. Oh, this is nice, man. Let's let's test this out. Oh, I like this fabric material. It's like a mesh. It's not like that cloth that you get in the other places. This is nice mesh. Look at this nice wood. Well, it's not wood. It's like a vinyl on it, but it's a nice finish on it. A little wobbly. But you got this cool little L-shaped seating section. You can probably take a nap here. Uh, you got storage down here as well. Oh, I lied to y'all. That's just like a little cubby. I think storage is right here. Oh my goodness. I lied to you guys again, but that is. All right. Up top, do you guys got storage here as well? Oh yeah. That's like an airport style luggage. That's cool. I've never seen this type of airport style cubby. This is the kitchen. Let's chest this out. Oh, this is like that stone uh, material scared about it. that stuff scares me we got this big old deep sink nice faucet what's here in the back but this one's a little bit easier to pick up because you can put your hand here lift it up oh, i just like a little is that the trash hmm. not quite sure what that is we got that ear we got that plain style cubby up top Automatic closing door. Crazy. Oh, let's check out this door. It looks fancy. Alright, so. Everything on here is metal. Nice and stable. You can tell that this is this is probably expensive. Expensive for one of these. It's a little bouncy in here. We got that freezer. Refrigerator. What's this? Excuse me. Hello? Oh, sorry, sorry about that. Didn't show you. Oh, I'm sorry about that. You guys have to be careful when you go into these places. Make sure nobody's in here. Got a nice little cubby. Oh, you, you done? I'm decent now. You're decent? Okay, I'm sorry about you that. You can go ahead and get in there now. Yeah, let me check it out. Let's see if I stand. Ooh, oh, excuse me. All right. So, this is the shower. Looks like it curves in. So I wonder if I stand. 5'11, do I stand? Oh, I stand. I stand in here. And check out this shower head. Nice, big, robust shower head. You got a place to sit when you get tired from eating alligator teeth. This is the porta potty, aka the toilet section. You got this nice toilet. This is a very, very cool bathtub. <laughs> I mean, my bad. Bathroom, restroom, toilets, whatever. But you have this cool sink. Cool faucet, fancy, very fancy towel holder right here. Nice, nice cupboards. Huh, this is interesting. So you got two beds instead of one. Oh. Got a TV here, only a TV on one side. You also got cabinets, got nice little shades. Then this is that window that goes from edge to edge. That's really nice. I wonder if you lay down, you can see the stars maybe. Yeah, if you look to the side, you can see the stars while you're sleeping. Nice little exit. Oh, what's that? What is this? Oh, so you can separate. A little curtain so you can separate the sides. Oh, and it hides away right here. You got foam right here, so maybe when you're driving, it won't rattle and hit against the wood. But you got some decent space in here. So I think this is their standard size. I'm just here to look, you know what I'm saying? 
Hello. This is one of my, I'm asking guys out here. Hello. So she can point you guys in the right direction if you guys got any questions, okay? All right. So they wanted to do some filming, some looking around, but if you could just kind of point them in the right direction, make sure that they, they find what they're looking for. Okay. All right. Thanks, folks. Just film me, yeah, film it for YouTube, and then what's called just looking around. Looking at the smaller ones, really, and then he said he has some used ones over there. Yes. Bigger ones on them, this section. Yeah, so, so. these are the classics right here. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, then in the back, along uh, in the back section, there's the used. Awesome. So, awesome. Yeah, the classics are the top of the line, uh, biggest ones that you'll have. What All you right, have? so over here we got a smaller one. It looks like there's this container in the front. Let me see what this is about. Is this where you put your propane? No, that's like the electric cable so you can plug it up. And there may be another section on the bottom. This is what we're looking like on the outside. Oh, this one has a little green stripe on it. That's pretty cool. Oh, it has a little back door too. Check this out. Ah. You know why they put the door out there? Oh, the, uh, In the back? on, the, on the, the base camp? Yeah. It's mainly for uh, gear. Gear, okay. Yeah. So it's like if you have a kayak or you have bikes. Oh, okay. It has these little uh, grooves in them. Uh -huh. So you can, um, uh, you know, tie it down. Gotcha. And so, so that's what this door is for. And there's uh, a latch up here. Mm -hmm. So you can uh, prop it open. It's got a screen that comes down. Ah, that's pretty. Um, so if you open the main door, lock it, uh, latch it open. It's also got a screen so you can get a good breeze. Gotcha. Going through. And then these windows in the back are more like your vent windows. They just kind of pop out mm -hmm. uh, for ventilation and stuff. Cool. I like it. And it's pretty. Got the tin on the windows too. Yes. That's, it's nice because, you know, you can't stand right. <laughs> Off green tires. Well, and speaking of the private, they have the privacy windows. So with the privacy windows, they zip up. And so it is like. Yeah, what's that we got here? But yeah, these, oh, if zippers. you zip them up, mm -hmm. um, and there's one zipper on the other side here. Oh, and I like, up, I like these too. And then you've got 100% privacy. Awesome. Yeah. Blackout. Yeah. The big is dark. <laughs> yes. Super dark. Yep. So, does this turn into a bed somehow? Yes. Yeah. So, right here, there's the legs that are under here. There's oh. two size legs. There's a short leg. Uh-huh. And that's, so you'll take the short leg. Put the table on top, mm -hmm. and then um, put the mattress. See, yeah, oh, this yeah. this right here will flip over oh. and rest on the tabletop. This one over here flips out, rests on the tabletop, and then oh, you get smart. the longer legs if you're wanting to eat. Gotcha. Yep. Oh, they just hooked into the side like that. Yep. That's pretty nice. You got storage up top. This is nice and practical. I yes. like it. And yeah. then here. When you're doing the bed, so that the tabletops take mm -hmm. care of this top part. Yeah. Here, um, they're right in here. So these poles, these uh, boards come out. Oh. And then they slide in here. Oh. Like yeah, so you have extra. Oh, well, that's mainly for the bed. Nice. Let me check out this bathroom. All right, this is the restroom. He has the toilet included with the foot stump. I like that. Do I stand 511? Oh yeah, I got a lot. Of, smack my hand on that, but I got a lot of space in here. This probably be good for like somebody's at least six three. I would say six three. Yeah, toilet cover. That's awesome. You got this cool light up top. You can move it and it gets fixed in place. But this is a cool little unit. You could you cook up a lot here. You got the microwave. Yeah, microwave. You got this nice little mini fridge in here. You can stand, store your pond right there. Ooh, didn't even look at this faucet. So this is a little bit about the specs. Pretty cool. Cover. Oh, I like this sink. This is probably my favorite sink I've seen so far. Circle. Oh, this is a nice sink. More storage over here. Got a little storage right there. It's pretty nice. This is something that I would probably get because it's small and compact. But yeah, let's move on to the next one. Let's see what else they got. Base Camp X. The other one, the trade one I was gonna show you is this one over here. Um, it's got the hatch in the back, which is my favorite option, but with it, it has a, a upgraded battery pack. Yeah. It's got upgraded solar, and um, it 
you got the upgraded inverter. All right, so this is the next one we're gonna check out. This one's pretty big too. But I like this one, it caught my eye because the back of it fully opens up. As a kid, I always saw the trailers of the campers with the ones that open up in the back, and I liked it. Looks like there's a little garage latch. This is for the bug net, actually. So you can stick that down, it sticks down with magnets. But man, I would have to say, so far, the Airstream, they have the best quality interiors that I've seen. Oh, this is smart. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is innovative. So this is a cutting board, and it's also a sink cover. This is nice. So probably when you're ready to cook something, you can flip it over, cut it, whatever you need to cut. Place it back on there. You got this nice fancy faucet. Um, let's come back here. Uh, looks like this is the bathroom. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I did it again, man. So this one doesn't have the airport style or the airplane style cubbies, but this is a nice cubby design with this nice little latch, easy to lift, easy to close. You got this long, well I'm seeing they got a lot of sitting room which is awesome. And then I think there's a lot of space storage underneath them which is great. Extra foams. You got shade covers up top. Here, this section has a nice light coming in. We have the cooking area with the stove top, glass cover, knobs, microwave, air fryer too. Cabinets. Oh these are nice. Like this little, the latches flick up and then they come out. That's pretty cool. All right, this is pretty much like the other one, but the difference is this one's got a queen size, I believe, bed, and it's seated. Oh yeah, that's the lights. I showed them those. Nice storage right there as well. All right, let's check out the bathroom. I think it'll be the same as the other one. Oh. Yeah, same as the. Oh yeah, it's the same. I stand in that and then in here you have the bathroom same as the other one but let's go ahead and find something even more different this one is nice I probably would get an Airstream with this spec because I like having the outside so that way instead of using a restroom you can just come all the way out here and we'll move this table back up to the end of a lake and then use the restroom right there Next, we got these smaller ones that's the name of it. That's the back of it. Oh, is it nice? Let's check it out. Let's go inside. Oh, this is this is nice. All right. So you got your table, seating section, nice long window. You got these. Oh, these are actually like I was thinking this is gonna be cheap, but this is actually nice material. Got the foggy glass cover. Looks like that's your power controls, some type of controller. All right, you got your stove top. These are nice. Yeah, this gas. And then you got that awesome cutting uh, board sink cover. Sink, fancy, fancy faucet comes out and has different functions on it. I love that. You got the convection microwave little mini fridge store actually that's pretty that's a pretty good amount of storage underneath the faucet actually that's nice little shade cover oh my that was violent all right so what's in here oh this is where you get your business done okay so it looks like this is the toilet they got the faucet that mirror and how do I stand at 5'11"? I stand, I stand with about, I would say, I have somewhere around three to four inches of space. We got a little towel holder on the outside or on this door. You got the same divider, so that way you can pull it over, black it out. This looks like a twin size bed, but you know, I think I would fit. You got this rotating TV screen. You got this nice big window in the back. All right, this is pretty cool, pretty cool. I like this little section because it feels like you're on a train and you're about to go on a long expedition. I've never been on a train, so I don't really know. Nice big cabinet. So up here in the front, they have the YouTuber specials. 
the little travel vans. Check it out from the front. Yes, sir. All right. So, this is the inside of the van lifer. You know what I'm saying? Nice and cozy. You got this table behind the driver's seat. Let's go ahead and close this door. Toilet and shower combo. Oh, this is nice. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That comes out just like that. Like if you took a photography class, I had something like this. Oh yeah, that's the, the black light, black room. All right, let's see if I stand 5'11". Oh, I just barely don't stand, man. I'm smacking my hair on the top. But you know, I can sit and wash myself. And it's pretty impressive for a van. Little mini microwave. But this is a great way to use the van space, I would say. Um, Cause a lot of these van uh, people on YouTube, they have like the bed that's like stuck there. And this, in this version, you can use that room for a, a lot more and you can open it up. Oh, that's interesting. I know, I'm saying that. Let me pull it up. You know, this on springs, but these are violent, man. Up here we got the fan. What is this? It looks like it goes up. It's interesting. Maybe some more storage. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments. This is the cabin. But yeah. It's cool. Uh oh, we're stuck. We're stuck in here. Maybe we have. Is it the other one? Oh, here it is. It's too hot. Oh, that's a heavy door. But check out this right here. This is the big boy. The big boy Airstream. Look at that. I'm running a mile. I'm walking a mile just to get to the back of it. Let's see what the back looks like. Pretty classic if you ask me. Pretty classic. You got the bumper, you know what I'm saying? And they got a little canopy on the back. So, that's cool. I like that bumper just in case somebody gives you a little love tap. But yeah, man. Let's go inside and let's see what this is talking about. Oh Hello. my Welcome to goodness. My this is more like a house. You walk in, you get to have a house. Oh, they got the, they got that fancy bed. That fancy bed that goes up and goes down when you're ready to take a little nap. But check out this bedroom. This is the first time I've seen the bedroom towards the front, I believe. Maybe that's not true, who knows? You guys know. TV, nice little bedroom. Let's see how the door closes on this one okay so they got one of those little fancy oh my goodness man i swear man these campers be trying to kill me right out of the bedroom you got the freezer and refrigerator interesting then you got this long kitchen where you can do your fancy cooking let's see this material they got that stone finish on it as well and then you got that big deep sink of course faucet pretty cool and cooking stove top place to put your pine on this side you got these luxurious luxurious seats they can just come here after capturing 12 elves and eating all the presents you can come here and relax for your day got this nice little table oh it looks like the table goes up and down like an elevator you got the movie style couch because right up top you got the projector and looks like there may be a screen to come from right here that's a screen but it's not coming up down manually don't want to break it you got your little office section right here onto your luxurious bathroom where you yourself can feel like a god as you lay it down in the porcelain got this fancy bowl style oh that's actually you know what i'm saying do you hear that quality man i bet this thing weighs a ton storage back there oh they got this so that way when you hang your hangers it stays where you hung them that way when the trailer is moving uh, when you're driving away your clothes don't slide to one slide slide back creating wrinkles you got this nice little
fancy pantsy shower. Do I stand? Oh, no problem. No problem. I stand and I have jumping jacks. I can do a whole workout in here, get sweaty, and then I can wash myself down. That's how much room I have back here in this shower. Look at that. Stainless steel, it feels like. Cool little shower head. This right here is bougie living. This is, as they call it, glamping. All right. Ah. That could be a little bit fancier. They should have used gold. Got this door. Check out your fit. Oh man, I have to look at the manual and see how to open that, but that looks like a sunroof. So that lets a little bit more light in here. But yeah, man, this is huge. It's pretty huge. Forgot that there was even a bedroom here. Super big. All right, well. I think that may be it for the Airstream, so we may head over to the other section to see different styles. I didn't even see this on the, the door handle. Look at that. Look at that detail. Man, that is nice. Oh, I, I bet you I bet you this is like half a million dollars just for this Airstream here. Maybe we'll go into one more to see if there's any differences. So this one got the door handle on the other side. Oh, no. Just as fancy. And it even comes with an alarm. Okay, we acknowledge it and it stopped screaming at us. But you got this cool little couch over here instead of having it the other one. This is the opposite. So you have the bed in the back. The couch right here doesn't look like there's a movie theater, but that's fine. You can always put one in yourself cool door you can sit back here after looking Santa Claus in the face after you ate all the presents and then turns out none of the two-year-olds this year is getting any presents just because of you just because of your actions right here you don't have to worry about that because you got chargers oh you got this cool little addition that flicks up you got that bed of course cool little bedroom all right let's take out the bathroom Oh, so this one gets that. that one that we saw in the others. Hello, JTs. How are you doing today? I'm doing good, man. Do you like this camper? It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. You can give it to me for free. I can give you probably like a 2% discount after rebate. Take it all back and you'll get it for $30. That's a little rough for me because I don't even have 500 subscribers yet. So if you guys can help me out, Getting five, 500 subscribers, I may be able to purchase this right here, Airstream. I stand, I believe. Ooh, barely, I barely stand. No, nope. I got room, I got about like two inches, one to two inches of headroom. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. <laughs> she just wanna flex, she just done. wanna flex. What in the world? It's a bed, two beds. What in the world? Here, join me. Say it ain't so. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. So this one controls the foot part. We're going up. And we're going down. I'm gonna get my grease on over this. Put my hoodie up. Hey, what's up, cuz? Hi. How you doing over there? I'm chilling. This is nice. Yeah, man, look, check this place out. I would have to say that this one is probably my favorite style here. Yeah, I like this. I like this a lot, actually. We can just have the, have the bed fold out. Got your kitchen, got your bathtub right here. And you know what? I don't even mind the green on this. Looks nice. Got the door that opens in the back. So, yeah, this is my favorite. This would definitely be my favorite special edition. Oh, it's the REI. I would definitely get this one for sure. All right, so that was Austin the Airstream. Now we are at Blue Compass RV in Austin, Texas. It's literally right next to it. And we're going to check out some of their campers. Starting with the Andre. Andre. You guys can pronounce that for me. 
Auto, auto, uh, yeah. Anyways, let's check this place out. Ah, oh, yeah, this is cool. This is nice. This is like an apartment. And it's only, it's only that much money. Man, I don't know about the stability. This one's rocking a little bit. I hope I don't go flying somewhere. But yeah, check out this this kitchen. This is nice. You got the stove top. Doesn't look like there's a cover, but I'm pretty sure it would come with a cover. You got nice cabinets. You got this. It looks like a futon. If I had to guess. Yeah, I think you push it down. I'm not sure what's going on here. This is interesting. Man, these look. Yeah, but this is a cabinet. I don't know what this is. I wonder if it folds out, folds down, goes back. I'm not really sure what's that about. But let's check out the bedroom. After we look at the microwave, we got the we got this nice little refrigerator. All right. And now, the moment. Oh wait. This is just a bathroom. Don't come in. It's very unstable in here. So, yeah, it feels like it's moving. But that's your mattress. We'll come in one at a time, so after I leave, you can come in here. So you got this big old shower room. Man, this is this is rocking a lot. I'm not sure I'm supposed to be in here. You got the toilet and flushes. Do I stand? I stand just because of this. Thank you. This is a really good way to use this section. You know, your bed just folds up. Futon comes out, you can have a seat here. Pop a squat, relax. Got a whole bunch of room for your kitchen. Your bathtub, bathroom is all the way back there. It's very spacious. Good, good thinking. Good, good thinking. Let's go ahead and close this. All right, so this is the same same trailer but with the bed down so there's your bed looks like a queen size folds down and you can lift it up you have your couch same but it's very spacious for what it is very very spacious they got a lot of space in there but she wants to check out the big mamba you know what i'm saying the discovery lxe and i think you come in from this side so check out this behemoth look at that Bougie straight up. Living it big time. Oh, this is an RV. This is a serious business. I almost died. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know if we can. Oh my goodness. Oh, the presentation. The presentation. Check this out. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. What in the world? What type of millionaire has this? This is crazy. Wow. Oh my goodness. This is fancy. Man, you can do number one and two in style in here. Oh my goodness. Look at the backsplash. Oh, wow. It's a glass backsplash. This thing could be a little bit bigger. <laughs> Just saying. Got the bed that folds or moves in and out. Pretty sure that's automatic. What in the world, bro? Glass. You got glass for your shower door. Alright, let's check this back. What is this? Bamboo? I don't know what that is, but I don't want to touch it. Just get somebody tested it out. But man, I stand in here. I stand proud. Wow. Uh, that's, this is this is premium. This is not even fancy anymore. This is just premium. 
Look at that. What's in here? Oh, this is the, this is the latrine, bro. This is the latrine. They got two bathrooms in this. Man, I don't even think I've seen anything this fancy. I always see it on YouTube, but I don't even think I've witnessed the fanciness in real life. Washer and dry, man. They doing too much now. They ain't doing too much now. This is crazy. Ah, but all these sections they pop out. Um, and then when you're driving, <laughs> Woo! I tell you guys, man, but yeah, all these sections, they pop out. So when you're driving, this is all squished, squished in. So maybe when you're driving, you don't have too much room to move around, but at least you have it. Let's check out this fabric. Let's see how premium it is. Feels good. Feels good. Nice little seating section. You got full size. I didn't even reckon they got full size LG stainless steel refrigerator. Oh, but it's locked right now. They got locks on it, so that way when you're moving, and the doors don't fly open. Full size, man. Bougie living. We're living premium over here. Premium. Is that another TV? Two TVs. So that way when you're driving, you can watch TV as well. You can probably watch a driving vlog while you're driving. Look at all these screens right next to you. I couldn't even imagine driving something like this. This is the rig. Wow. I think this is another bed up here. What? This is another bed up here. Looks like you need a key. Yeah, it looks like you need a key to bring it down. But yeah, once you're parked, you can just literally push this down um, and it becomes a bed. It's called a hiding loft. I wonder how you exit once that comes down though, because there's only one door in here. Oh, uh, light switch. <laughs> I'll never get over that. All right, so next one, let's see if we can find something that's very unique. I'll let you guys know if we find something. But if you guys like this content, go check out the other uh, video we did. If you guys like seeing this type of stuff, just let us know. They have the semi truck front, perfect for my brother. Let's check out the interior. Okay, okay. This is still premium, but this is more humble. It's a little bit more humble, you know. Man, they got the bed over here too. That'd be cool if there would be like a window right here so you can see the stars. You got your little driving cabin. You got the nice sink covers. Glass on the stove top. The oven. Nice little seats. And I got the full size fridge. It's a toilet. Yeah. Nice little shower oh, I, I like that where it goes around the side I like that a lot got the antifreeze how do I stand I stand a little squished my stand and I can jump in here too cabinet oh my goodness this got a washer and this is a dryer as well yep washer and dryer combination combination sink no mirror but i think they probably would ship with a mirror this bed probably folds up as well there's water in the sink you can actually turn the sink on i bet you tried it didn't you I did. yes you did we'll try it all right i'll do it for now oh my goodness oh i like this table yeah it's a cool table it comes up how does one get up here uh so you basically have all this space so that way you can get a running start. Um, this you gotta make sure you don't hit your head. Man, these are steep though. Let's see if you can get up there. Hey man, I was actually struggling up there. She got up there super easily. That's crazy. I'm getting old. Oh, he got Larry to go up top. Watch me do, watch me do. Oh, I'm 
don't trust it. <laughs> yeah, I don't trust it. I ain't trusting. But yeah, they got a bunch of these RVs. So if you guys want to come check it out, this one's called Blue Compass RV in Austin, Texas. If you guys want to come check out their RVs, they got a lot to pick from. Puma. All right, man, let's check out the Puma next. This is called the Puma LXE. Oh my goodness. Man, these are like so homey. These are like, like built like the apartments nowadays. Yeah, you got your sink over here. Oh, this is cool. What's this? Oh, it's a lock. This is a little lock for your refrigerator and freezer. Nice little TV. This would be a great place just to sit down, eat your food, and watch TV. Cool little setup. I messed up doing that. It's red. No, don't do it. That's antifreeze. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. And you got the little. Then you got your bed. Let's see if it moves up. Oh, it does move up. It has more storage in it down the down the back underneath. Cool. Queen size. Let's check out the bathroom. Nice little bathroom, and they got that fancy, trying to compete, they got that fancy shower. Let's see how it feels. Feels good, I stand, I stand with a whole lot of room, spread my wings, and I can flap around. Yeah man, it's nice. Toilet, oh sink. And you got your little mirror. Hey guys! They know how to work the space in these new ones. I tell you, I tell you. They still got the same exterior though. But the inside, that is where the magic happens. What is this? A little kitchen on the outside of this Puma. Mini fridge, microwave. This is a vibe. I feel like you can pull up with this to an event and just like do your thing outside, cook it up. It's a little high, but you got a little step stool let's go ahead and check this trailer out since we're here hello anybody in here ah yeah this is this is this is nice look at this kitchen I love the shape of this you get extra room put your pots and pans nice little drying rack cover Oven, microwave, fridge and freezer. Let's check out the space in there. Whole lot of space. Whole lot of space. Nice and lightweight too. These doors are not heavy. Lightweight doors. I like that. That's nice. Cool little eating section. That's the specs on this one. 2023. Yeah. Alright, back here. You have a couch bed up here bed right here too it's back here storage behind here you have the outdoor cooking section let's check out that bathroom same shower not gonna go in there this time you got sink you got JT toilet toilet roll holder I don't even think I've seen the bedroom yet did I see the bedroom no I haven't Oh, check out the bedroom. This is a lot of space. And of course, this slides out. So when you're driving, this will slide in. Bed probably folds up. Let's see the closet space. Whole lot of closet space. Bunch of storage on this one. What's in here? Oh, even more. You know what? You can probably play hide and seek in here. And I found myself. <laughs> Let's check out the outside of this one. A humble outside. Nothing too bashful. Yeah, so these are all the sections that give you all that space on the inside. But next, let's check out the Texan. This is the first one we're going to see with two doors. 
which is awesome. We haven't seen a two door one yet. This is a Texan from the front. As you can see, they got a bunch. So if you guys want to come check it out, go ahead. Oh man, I love these L shaped kitchens. But you know, this doesn't have the same, um, this is wood. So this is like, this is what I was talking about. This is wood. It has this um, stone covering or vinyl on top of it. You got this nice little bed section, whole bunch of room. Microwave the top, you got the hood cover, stove with a glass cover. That's the specs on this one. And this nice table. Check out the bottom of this. Yeah. Interesting. Cool little seating section. Oh, what in the world? You got this what is this supposed to be like? Is that like a uh, peacock leather? What's that leather? Chicken leather? I forgot what this type of leather is. Crocodile. Nah. It's one of those. I don't know. Big bird leather. We got the fridge that I like. Super lightweight. Got your TV that goes there. Cool little seats. Nice material, actually. Look at that material. Huge bathroom. This is huge. You got two sinks. One for her. But you know, hers probably takes up about this much. <laughs> and we got this much for me. This is nice. If we were to get a trailer, i get this one just because it's a his and hers. Yeah, we need that. We need two toilets, too. <laughs> we got the shower section. doesn't have any um, cover on it, but you do get this shower curtain. Let's go inside. Let's see if I stand. Ooh. It's kind of cutting it close for how big this restroom is, but got about two inches of space. Hopefully I don't grow any more. I wouldn't be able to fit in there. You got this toilet seat with a whole bunch of leg room. And here, storage. Probably could fit one of those washer and dryers in there if you wanted to. Because they got the they have connections right there. So it's good to know. This one is key. But I think that's enough seeing the big ones. It's time to find some unique small ones. I really miss that folding camper. More storage right here. But yeah, when you walk in, this is the view you get. Seeing a section. Right, we're going to do a really quick run through of this Montana. This one you have to have a truck because this part, I believe, goes into the truck bed. Wow. The through storage space on the exterior pop out section. Let's check out the inside. I literally fit in here. Go in there. No, don't do it. Don't do it. And just like that, we're in an apartment in Beverly Hills with the island vents on the floor. I think that's one of the first times I've seen that. Nice little couch right here. Got charging ports on the side. Yeah, this is your view. Kitchen. Check out this kitchen. Microwave on top. Got your stove top, oven on the bottom. Nice oven too. Wow, huge refrigerator. Man, this is big. Freezer. It's actually pretty. Oh, it's nice and refreshing right there. Pantry. Oh yeah, I love pantries. We love pantries. Wow, this is the first time I've seen like chairs, actual chairs like this. That's the specs. We got stairs to the top. Oh, wow. So that's the bedroom. You go through the bathroom and then you can have a quick little access to the bedroom again. But first, let's check out this bathroom. We got this shower, just like the other bougie one. And you know what's crazy about this one? If you can get it open, You know what? I guess you can't go inside. But one thing I do like is that this is metal. So this little latch is metal. And it even comes with a cricket in there. Unfortunately, I can't show you guys if I stand or not. But if I had to guesstimate, I could. Got your toilet back here. You got storage. Closet space inside. We got hookups. So if you want to have a dryer, a washer and dryer combination right there deep deep storage right here and one thing about the storage is it feels thin so if you can't put too much weight on this I don't believe 
this is your bedroom and this is a very nice bedroom oh you didn't even see this on top you have a fan Yeah, these have been very, it's been very interesting seeing these more premium campers or trailers. We're at the back of this dealership, if you call them dealerships, I'm not sure what you call these trailer places. But they got a lot over here. So I would suggest, man, just come out here and if you have extra time, just come out and see new things, you know. This is pretty cool just walking around, seeing things I would probably buy in the future. It's protected by a highly trained donkey. Oh my goodness. So if Donkey's here, that means Shrek is here too. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Hey guys, we have done it. This one's not a folder, but this pops up. It's called the Black Series Clearance. So they speaking to me. They want to know if I'm trying to get it because they have clearance sticker on it. All right, let's check it out. This is called the HQ12. Uh, exterior, run through. We got a crash bar. That was loud. Oh yeah, we got the little bars right here. The back of it, extra tire, beefy, um, I don't know what you call these, but beefy stabilizers for the camper. So as you can see at the top, because the pop-up section, on the other ones you can see with it closed down. Let's go ahead and check out the interior. All right. So as we step inside, This is cool. You got a bed right here. Looks like this folds either down or up. Oh, no, this folds down. Nice little seating section right here. Ooh, head hits right there. But, you the oh, got keys for days. You got this nice mattress. It's actually pretty big. Oh, I think there's a table down there. Oh, I have to open this part. So you open this part, and you open this, and you can enter the shower section, and then do your business. This smells like one of those old playgrounds I used to be at because of this fabric when I was a kid. But you, got, as you can see, I stand, and I stand properly in here. Got your shower. This is nice. This is a nice little setup. Oh, premium. I like that it's very nice okay open it we come out to your kitchen section so to close that up you'll zip the top as well and like i said oh, wow as i said on the top this all folds down got your sink very shallow on the bottom we got microwave you got your refrigerator oh that's cool i like the blue accents Nice little countertop and cooking stove right here. And then this is the specs. It's a very interesting camper, but does not beat out the folding camper that we saw last time. If you guys haven't seen that video, go ahead and check it out. They have it so where you can pick these dumpster bins up and you can convert it into a trailer. If you really wanted to. Well, that was it for the RV slash camper video. Thanks for watching. If you guys like the videos, go ahead and like and subscribe. Check out some of the past ones. And I came up with this new saying. Don't let society complicate your life. I don't know what it means really. Thanks for watching, guys. Adios.